how to live in Jamaica for six months. Hey guys, Melissa here again from myislandjamaica.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have the distinct privilege of speaking to a friend uh, who I have known for years. She's an American, originally from Boston, living in Jamaica as an expat. And she's going to tell us exactly how to live in Jamaica. Tell you how to live in Jamaica mm -hmm. for six months, particularly as somebody coming in from the outside. I see people are coming in. I just want to say welcome to you. Welcome to you. I see Cassie. I see Rex. I see Omar. I see Fiona. I see Shelly. I see Roberta. MS Cardio Queen. Welcome all my regular fans here. I welcome you. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Spotlight where we showcase authentic, real Jamaica and Jamaican enthusiasts, Jamaican personalities. Uh, I won't delay any further i'm gonna bring in my <laughs> friend mara watson from the usa and i'm gonna say from jamaica mara <laughs> hi wesley thank hey. you hey man my the guys are coming in and they're excited to meet you say hello oh. hi hi everybody <laughs> we're live here at ivy's cove in white house jamaica White on House, the South Jamaica, Coast. beautiful. And we're going to show them the beach a little later on, right behind you. But, yes. but it's, a little, it's a little clearer, so that we don't want the lighting to, to affect the, the reception, you know? Right, anyway, Mara, right. thank you so much for, for accepting the invitation, man. It's a pleasure. A lot of persons, I realize a lot of, quest, a lot of persons have this question, how to live in Jamaica, um, but how to live in Jamaica specifically for six months. And this, this could be persons coming in as student, as a student coming in for a short-term assignment uh, or a work, or a, a work, um, somebody coming in in the BPO sector, or somebody who just want an extended vacation, perhaps. You know. Right. Uh, so, so you, I figure, is the best person for many reasons. One, <laughs> <laughs> you're an American, so you have the you have the, um, the outside, the non-Jamaican view coming in, um, and you have lived here. You have lived here for how long now, Mara? 14 years i moved here in 07 but been coming here since 1985. man i tell you yeah so. i love jamaica it's really <laughs> home i call it home now i know i know and i know you have a business here now so we're going to talk about that, about that a little more so, yes. so guys mara is going to help us to talk about some in some uh factors or some critical points of living in jamaica uh certainly as an outsider as, a, as an expat we're going to talk about how about um food getting food you know the general government regulations and taxes and so on uh getting around transportation and those that, that sort mm -hmm. of thing so let me let me just hear from you mara first give us a little background of who mara is so my audience can get a appreciation of who we're talking to Great. Well, hi, everybody. As Wesley said, I'm Mara Watson, and I am actually consider myself a Jamaican. I've been living here for over 14 years, and I sell real estate. So how I can tell you, um, a lot of my clients do come for six months, and there's all sorts of ways that you can make it work. Uh, some people are able to do it on just their retirement, on their Social Security. I have clients that can live off that. There are accommodations that vary in the area. Um, you can have something exactly. Uh, recently, I just rented an apartment in White House. It's a studio. It was a finished garage, and it was only 300 U.S. a month. Mm. But then I've rented villas that are 10,000 U.S. a month. So depending on your budget, but if you do have a budget, it's definitely doable in Jamaica. Your biggest expense here is... Um, if you buy food that's imported, but you're better off going to the farmer's market and go to the meat market and live like a Jamaican and, and you're able to do things on a budget for sure. Mm -hmm. I've learned uh, a lot of ins and outs and uh, Jamaicans are really such beautiful people. This country has a vibe like no other. 
Um, but I know I'm, I'm getting off track. And I was telling you, um, I moved here in 07 and raised my children. And now they've since graduated college. Mm. But Jamaica is an amazing place. I sell real estate. And I'm also still in the travel business. And I also built the guest house called Ivy's Cove and White House. And Wesley <laughs> was in his family stayed and we had a great time. Oh, yes. That, yeah. lovely. that was in the beginning stages and stuff. Love it. Yes. And I know it you're, you're hosting a, a lot of superstars. Now I see them on social media. <laughs> yes, I've been very lucky. We've had um, Beanie Man here, Christopher Martin, trying to get chronics here. Yeah. Um, and we've had some really cool people. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, let me, let me, wonderful. Let me just acknowledge again a few of my friends tuning in. Uh, I, just, I always want to do that. They're my buddies. They're always here with me. Maura. Kathy, Kathy said, good day, Kathy. Who does Hi, you, Kathy. my friend? <laughs> Rex, <laughs> Rex, yeah. Uh, oh, Rex saying he's here, but he's focusing on a political stream. Interesting. Something going on in the US there? <laughs> All right. No problem. And Omar, my friend, Omar Guthrie, Mr. Guthrie. Fiona May, good afternoon. Uh, it's afternoon in the um, outside, in the Eastern now. Shelly? Shelly, kudos to you, my friend. Thank you for joining. Uh, Roberto, thank you so much for your time. You're always here. MS Cardio Queen. Hey, Wellesley. Hey, my friend. Uh, a GYF. GYF must be new. And by the way, uh, if you're new here, uh, meaning you're joining my, my live stream or uh, any of my videos, you're watching this for the first time, I welcome you and I invite you to join us, man. Hit that subscribe button. And tap the bell notification. This is what we do. We showcase what we call the real Jamaica uh, mm -hmm. for Jamaicans and Jamaican enthusiasts. You know, so consider joining us. Hit that subscribe button so you will stay updated to, on my all my uh, my videos and live streams. All right. Uh, hello to London Bay family. Uh, Claudette Banks. Hello. We have people. We have first person from Facebook as well. Uh, Stephanie, my friend, business partner. Hello, Mara. And well, let's see, she says, Stephanie is in Kingston. Kerry Ann, kudos to you, Kerry. Shelly Wilkes again. Man, love it. Oh, yes. GY said his first time viewer. New sub. Thank you, man. I share the video. Share it. Share it, guys. Share it. Share it. This is, this is really good information we're going to talk about. Mara is a SME, a subject matter expert here. And uh, uh, living in Jamaica as a non-Jamaican first. She's a Jamaican now, so she's a Jamaican now, we say, you know? So anyway, <laughs> yeah, Mara, back to Mara, get into the meat of the matter. So Mara is here 14 years, guys, and she has been living the life, uh, having be enjoying the best of both worlds. She had her children here with her. They went to school here in Jamaica. I think it was Monroe College for the boy. Yes, in and Hampton. And Hampton my daughter High. went to Hampton. Hampton, yes. a boarding school they have since. Uh, graduated, and I think one of them is doing business with you now, right? And stuff. Yes, they're do, all doing very well. Congratulations! So, so yeah. you, we're not making up stories. This is real stuff we're talking about. Mara living in Jamaica. So you were talking about budget. So let's go back to budget, um, mm -hmm. Mara. Uh, so money is looking to come to Jamaica for, as I say, maybe a student. It might be on a special assignment in the healthcare, in whatever field, business. And they want to they want to live in Jamaica for six. What kind of budget are they looking at? You said. Let's go back to the budget, and then we take it step by step. Right. Well, rentals can vary depending on the area you're in. Mm -hmm. um, but for students, there is definitely budget travel, or they could join others and mm -hmm. um, split the rent. But in Negril, for instance, on the West End, some places you can get as affordable as five hundred if it's a long term rental. Yeah. But the six month rental may jump to seven or eight because the owner, but a lot of people will pay for the year rent because it yeah. works out to be cheaper. And then maybe they sublet it to yeah. another person or they do Airbnb. A lot of my clients have bought condos and they do Airbnb and that pretty much pays for itself in the long run. So there's all sorts of opportunities. You can get inexpensive accommodations in some of these guest houses or you could mm -hmm. decide to buy a condo and rent it other when you're not there. Mm -hmm. And also some of the hotels have kitchenettes. And if you mm -hmm. do a long-term rental, a six month, they're willing to negotiate. I know some of the cottages across the street from the road get about 1200 US. 
Uh But the only thing that is a problem with some of the expats that I see that come for six months, they have a problem with storage. So somebody should start a storage company in the grill. I think they do very well. People Uh could leave their luggage and uh, pots and pans that they have for the six months. But it's definitely affordable to spend six months in Jamaica. Uh, question, you said their their luggage and stuff. What would that, so somebody coming in for six months, what would, you, you mean what they what they would have brought or what they, uh, right. or what they have here? A lot of my clients that come to rent for six months don't own property. Then they have all their things. So sometimes I've been helpful and store their things, Mm -hmm. but I've never seen a storage facility in Jamaica. And as in America, U.S. and and England, every the storage places every corner. So if somebody's looking to for a new business idea, I say somebody should do a storage business in Jamaica. You could make money with the expats when they leave. They could store their things there. So All I right. just think that's a good business idea if somebody's looking for something to do in Jamaica. There All is right. a need. Awesome. All right. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I see a, quest, a few questions coming in. So we're going to make it very interactive. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gents. Um, I have questions for Mara, but I see your questions and I'm going to take them as, as it comes because I figure, I figure your, 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 your questions are related to what she's saying right now. So let me, let me, um, let me acknowledge, uh, Roberta, who is asking a question, she says, I'm going to move there. How can I get a place with no problem? (laughs) Answer that for me, Mara. With no problem. Depending on your budget, I suggest you use a realtor because you have to be very sure that you're dealing with somebody reputable and licensed. Mm -hmm. You can look online on realtor.com Jamaica and you can search rentals. You can also check Uh, Craigslist, but make sure it's a legitimate person. If you are dealing with the owner directly, make sure they prove that they own that property and make sure you have a lease so you understand all the terms. And oftentimes try to get um, one that includes utility because that is one of the biggest expenses in Jamaica is electricity. So if you're burning a lot of air conditioning, your bill can run about $500. So that's a very okay. important thing. And I, you know, it's mi- way less expensive to use a ceiling fan or a fan because that's our one a very big expense in Jamaica. Or, or, or if you're living beside a sea like you. <laughs> right. You get the sea, you get God's nature. The sea breeze is the best. Yes. We don't like paying yeah. JPS too much money. <laughs> I know, I know. Guys, yeah. this is this is this is great information. Um you you might need to uh, if those if you're joining us on the replay, you might need to also pause and go back and start over because some of the th- this information you can't pay for this you know this is this is real good information we're sharing it free of free of cost uh here's another question mara for you um mm-hmm. does mara have her jamaican citizenship how does yes, she go about I- it Yes, I do. I was um, married to a Jamaican for over 20 years, and um, I got it by virtue of marriage. But if you are born in Jamaica, or if you have any relatives from uh, your ancestors were Jamaican, and you can prove that you can get citizenship. Otherwise, if you're not Jamaican and not married to a Jamaican, you would have to either go for a work permit or residency if you have a business and you own property. You have to prove to the government that you're self-sustaining, that you have income coming in, and that you don't have a criminal record. So they're very strict. It was a long process for me to get my passport. But on the six-month stay, the government allows you three months, and then they'll let you pay $100 for a three-month extension. I know during COVID, they allowed Canadians to stay longer because they were shut down. But I would... um, I know legally it's six months per calendar year when I was just, I had my American passport. So, um, but now where I have the Jamaican passport, I'm free to stay here. So I'm (laughs) very, I'm very happy. I love Jamaica. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's hear from Beverly. And I'm going to take one after Beverly, one more question. And I ask you my, my own question. Beverly says the rent is a problem, but uh, so, uh, so high, but I think the U S money will work out. I want to come home for six months each time. Any thoughts on that? Um, but it's on that could, Beverly, it's a Jamaican American or something. See? Um, there are some of the other opportunities if you wanted to work here. There's like a lot of people that want, you know, people that are of um, good work ethic to run guest house or hotels and they allow, they have accommodations. 
or maybe um, you could, if it, if it's hard to find the rent, just go in with a friend and split the rent and do one of the inexpensive places, but it's definitely doable and go to the farmer's market and, you know, and if you use the Jamaican accent, I always say Wagwan, they laugh at me, but I say, give me the Yachty price, not the tourist price. So there are different <laughs> prices. <laughs> yeah, well, you, so, well, so they laugh, they go, you're not easy, you're I not know, easy. I know. You, know, I know, you know, you know how to get around, you know. You yeah. Know All right. Yeah. Uh, Robert, my friend, Robert is always here. Robert says, great info as always. Thank you, Robert. Mr. G, lucky lady, you are Miss Mara. Of course. Thank of you. Course. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And all right. So let me, my question to you again, my friend. Let me, uh, so yeah, so we spoke about budgeting here. Uh, mm -hmm. You spoke a little about that. Um, food, shopping. Food, um, you know, you can get, they call it a box lunch here, and it's like 350J or 400J, which is almost like a little, like $3, and you get chicken and rice and cabbage. So you can eat that, and that's even cheaper than going to the grocery store. Yeah. But um, there, and uh, another big thing we eat in Jamaica is called a patty, a yeah. Jamaican beef patty, a veggie patty. So that's a good thing for lunch and for dinner i mean you can i mean the tourist places are expensive if you go to margaritaville you'll spend easily fifty dollars but if you go to a local place you could probably just spend ten dollars and have a really good meal right. so it depends on where you choose to eat and all those box lunches are so cheap so and they taste pretty good so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, can definitely and, uh, live well here wonderful wonderful you, yeah. you i think you have the you have the luxury, using my word, of living on the the south coast. You're on the south coast, which is yes. not too touristy. It's very, I think it's more rustic, more 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 rural, right? So you get yes. you kind of get the real Jamaica, I would say. You, you, you get all the nice beach and everything down there, but you also Yama. get authentic, good Jamaican food, and you get it at good prices, huh? Uh, I know they call us, market. we're in the bush here or we're country, but we're country here. But the people are really nice. Like the fishermen will come right up to the beach here and sell lobster for 500 J a pound. And yeah. they're so friendly and they'll always want a rum drink, but that's cool. They give me a good deal on lobster. I give them a good rum drink. So they're fun. <laughs> and everybody's so friendly. And, you know, yeah. I have no problems here. Everybody's yeah. kind. And yeah. in the country, it's good living, good living. All right. Uh, I'm going to ask you about fun stuff in Alicia, but before I do that, uh, any any other legalities that you think would need to be, somebody coming in would need to be mindful of? Uh, I think well, you now with the, earlier. Right, with the COVID, um, you have to come in with the COVID negative, and then you have to leave with the COVID negative. But we have a doctor right here in the area. It's $50. I know in the grill it's $50, or some will come to your home for about $95 or $100 and do the test on the spot. Yeah. So it's gotten a little bit easier. Um, they are having curfews, um, which has kind of, you know, made it a little different, but hopefully they'll get it under control. But uh, in regards to the passports, you know, you have to have a valid passport. You can't stay more than six months if you're a non-Jamaican. But if you're a Jamaican, of course, you can stay as long. And I do suggest to Jamaicans that have ancestors that were born here, go for the passport. They've made the process much easier when you go on picka.com. And uh, it's nice to have two passports. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. Uh, so, so, oh, so, so that would be it in terms of documentation, Yes, um, the birth certificates, passport, community, you'll yeah. have to have a criminal report from where you're from saying you have no criminal activity, no criminal history, and then you have to um, then get have a police report done in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So it is a lot of paperwork, and it's a lot of trips to Kingston. You can hire a lawyer for a fee, mm -hmm. um, but it just it's worth it. I mean, it takes a little while, but it's worth it in the long run. And this is, and again, guys, we're talking about living in Jamaica for six months, right? Six months tomorrow, right? So that's what we... Yeah, six months, they don't yeah. need the Jamaican passport. They just have to pay for an extension. The government, when you land, you tell them you stay, they'll give you usually up to three months. Uh -huh. And then if oh. you want another three months, you're allowed to do that, but that there's a fee involved. It's about okay, $100. Right. Excellent point. So let me, so let me, so guys, if you missed that, and I think I might have missed it earlier when you said it, Mara, so my apologies. So you said... If you're coming to Jamaica for three months, 
you're basically just a vacation. I mean, in other words, you can't have an ex right. vacation. It's allowed, no problem. Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing, you need nothing um, government re uh, requirement per se. But if you're staying for six months, you'd need to apply for an extension. Right, and you can go to Montego Bay to do that. There's an office in Montego Bay. And that's and and let me let me just add that it's a it's a it's the um the Ministry of Immigration. Um, uh, let me go there. Yeah, PICA. immigration. Pass yeah, PICA yeah. in Montego Bay. Yeah. Yeah, passport immigration. Oh Lord, forgive me. <laughs> but customs. It's a, it's, yeah, passport immigration customs association maybe something. administration. Yeah, yeah. 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 administration. PICA. Yeah. It's PICA. You can just Google PICA, PICA guys. PICA, right. P P I C A, and you'll get more information on that. So they, yeah, on the website. Things. Yeah, let's need to do an next. But if you're let's so let's say you're coming now to work, let's say you're coming for six months and you're gonna you're on a special assignment here. You come mm -hmm. to do particular work in the health sector, in uh, the BPO sector, the tourism sector. Is there anything special they'll need for work wise? They would probably know? get a work permit. They would probably and their employer would handle that through the government. Okay. They would okay. get a work permit. Okay, okay. But I what haven't had to personally do that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what about getting around? What 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 are your recommendations on transportation well, and moving around as a tour? Well, not a tourist, but well, tourists it's still to tourists. get around. Well, there's a few options, and I drive, and it is on the opposite side of the road. And I always tell people Jamaicans are very laid back till they get behind the wheel. They drive crazy here, so <laughs> <True>. <laughs> you true, have true. to be a defensive driver. Yeah. So I don't mind driving here, but some people are afraid. And when you first come here, I suggest you don't or get comfortable. But you, if you wanted to rent a car, it's about $50 a day. But some of my clients will buy like a secondhand car and spend around $4,000, $5,000 US. And um, you can insure a car. Like I have an old car in 06 and my car insurance is only $300 US a year. And I, you, if you get a letter from America saying that when you drove, you never had any accidents, that's why you get really low rates here. And I didn't do the high. I just did the... Um, protection if I hit somebody. So yeah. um, it's affordable car insurance unless you have a brand new Range Rover and it's outrageous, but yeah. I don't have that. Yeah. yeah. And um, but otherwise, if people want to do it on the cheap, they have this thing called route taxis. And that's how the locals get around. So from like one little city to a next city, it might only be two dollars. But keep in mind there's going to be a lot of people crammed in that bus. So yeah. you, you are roughing it a little bit, but it is a cheap way to get around. And then right. you can also have private drivers or you could rent a moped like in the grill. A lot of people rent those motor scooters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want, and if you need, let's say, I don't know, somebody coming for six months may not need a helper, but what? Right. Let's, say, let's say, or a guard, I mean, in your case, you, you have a helper and a gardener, but Somebody, do you right. think somebody coming in for six months they probably won't need that, right? Um, if they if they have an apartment that has kitchen, they may want housekeeping and cooking, and you can get a helper in Jamaica for twenty dollars a day, yeah. and somebody to cook and clean. That's the one inexpensive thing in Jamaica is labor. Yeah. Um, and even the government minimum wage is like fifteen dollars a day, or te it's terrible. It needs yeah. to go higher, but. Um, most people pay their helper uh, about 3000 Jamaican a day, which is about yeah. $22 a day. Yeah. Um, and you can have somebody cook fabulous. I have at Ivy's Cove, we get chefs for the guests, and he's 50 US a day because he's a yeah. gourmet yeah. chef. So things are affordable here when it yeah. comes to getting um, certain luxuries like that. You know, one other question um, many persons have on their mind is, is there safety and where to go, where not to go, and you know, the, see the crime situations. Uh, right. I know it's concentrated a lot, in, especially in the in the deprived communities more, down where you live and stuff on the rural side. We don't have a lot, but what what would be your right. your thoughts and recommendations on on persons who have a concern about about crime? Right. Well, I always tell people be careful who you associate with and just have common sense. Just like in Boston or in New York, you don't go to certain neighborhoods in Kingston. Yeah. You know, you just and you know your surroundings, and you yeah. know you don't. Um, don't go where you don't know places and always be with people you trust. Yeah. 
Um, but I have never had problems. Jamaica is, um, most people are good. Most people, Jamaica gets a bad rap about that. And yeah. some of the crime is crime on like crime, people that knew each other or was, yeah. you know, somebody involved with somebody, but it was not, I, I feel very safe here. I don't have problems. Yeah. Nobody bothers yeah. me. Yeah. All right. Let me just, yeah. wonderful. Let me just acknowledge a few more. Mm -hmm. Let me see a few more persons, my friend. Thank you. Uh, Shelly Wilkes says, big up Rob. Oh, it's Shelly big up Rob, not so much me. All right, <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> uh, um, MS Guider Queen says, local food in Jamaica is cheap. It is, it is really it is, cheap. Um, yeah. To go to the, yeah, go to the local markets. Uh, Beverly, let's see what Beverly says. I don't want to work. I'm Jamaican living abroad. I'm retiring. All right, congratulations, Beverly. Yay. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> All right. And uh, she, she have that pension coming in, she'll be good. Yes, yes. Yeah. T Box Stewart. Um what what is three months good for me? Yep. All right. So you know if you, if it's three months or less, you don't need to, to apply for anything, any extra uh, extension or anything like that. Uh let Beverly is asking a question of you, Mara. She says, Can you please explain the two passport? Did you speak on two passports? I don't remember that. Did you? Oh, I was just saying, I have a U.S. and Jamaican. I said it's nice to have a few passports if you can. But if she is from another country but has Jamaican heritage, somebody was born here, her parents, and mm -hmm. she has birth certificate, she could get a passport here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Robert. Yeah, Robert says, Miss Mara. I know you don't like the Miss, but uh, <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> call that, me Mara. <laughs> uh, she's a, she says, Is that a New England I hear in your voice? Yes, Boston. I have a little pack the car and Yaman. I confuse everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I grew up in Eastern Massachusetts. Yeah, okay, okay. So, also, oh, also, oh, also, oh, it's only if he knows that. That community. He knows that accent. We have a, we have a strong accent, like the Kennedys. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. All right. Joy Cole Davis uh, says, "I'd love to come home before retirement. Can't wait." All right. Wonderful. Nice. Well, well, love, the, love the comments. Love the engagement, guys. If you have questions, keep dropping them in. Uh, let me go back to Mara and ask Mara about what she does for fun. Living in Jamaica for persons coming in. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, 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 it's beautiful here, but I'm going to ask Mara, outside of living on the beach side and having all the nice uh, nice villa she had there and, and, and people coming in and, you know, the Chris Martin and the other guys uh, come there, what else do you do? What do you do? What, I mean, what would, what would be your recommendation for persons coming in who wants to? Uh, I know it's COVID. Let me put that you know, right. in the situation. But generally speaking, I mean, what, what, would, what well, would be yeah, somebody coming in? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful island. What I love to do is I swim. I wake up in the morning and I go swim for an hour. Uh -huh. And it's just so beautiful. And you and I snorkel. I used to scuba dive. I haven't done that in a few years. But there's so much beauty in this island. And then on weekends when I'm not busy, I like to travel the island and visit friends in Ochi. I love Port Antonio. This country is so beautiful. And there's so many waterfalls and nature trails and the Blue Mountains. I mean, Jamaica is paradise. It really is. And this, this country is blessed with so much beauty. If you're looking for like wild, like party times, I mean, if I if I need to have a good margarita, I'll go to Margaritaville. If I need a good pizza, I will go to Kenny's Italian Kitchen and have a good Cosmo and the grill. Um, it's about an hour from here. Uh, Montego Bay is pretty lively. There's some good places to go there as well. Um, mm. And uh, Scotchy's has good jerk. Kingston, I like to go to the R Hotel and they have a really cool roof deck, the District 5. Um, so I'm never bored, and I do once in a while get back because uh, my twins are now living in America, so I do go back to Boston every once in a while. But um, Jamaica is beautiful. I, people do say, do you get bored? And I, I never get bored here. I love it here. And mm -hmm. you see a lot of people bicycling. They have the reggae marathon in the grill. Uh, there's a, so much to do, so much to do. So you'll never get Wonderful. bored here. It, it really is a beautiful country. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do, 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 well, and I, I was going to ask, I think we might, 
I, I'm thinking about it now. We might need to do a part two because um, okay. of course we're going to stay longer, but we're going to keep keep that one on the on the hush hush for now. Uh, right. tell tell me tell me about uh, about your offering. What do you I mean? What do you offer down there? I know you you got your accommodate guests, Mara. No, so share with my yeah. viewers. What do you do? Yes, I have um, a guest house here called Ivy's Cove, and I decided to be a developer. I never had done this in my whole life, and I built four condos, and I was going to sell them um, and then live in one. Um, but I said, oh, wow, maybe I should just do this rental business. And um, it's, you know, we're hurting because of COVID. But what most of my clients are Jamaicans right now, and they come on weekends and with their families. It's so nice because the units are six, um, 3,000 square feet each. And I have two upstairs and uh, I do a local rate, which I would extend to your viewers, which is discounted at 300 at night. It sleeps up to six. We're right on the beach. We have kayaks and we have snorkeling things. You can get a chef for an additional $50. So we actually have a wedding group coming in tomorrow. He's from England. She's from Florida. They're Jamaican and they're all excited. So um, met some really great guests and uh, a lot of happy memories here at Ivy's Cove. And that's where you were, you said here. Okay, good. So it's kind of yeah, that's are. where I am right now. Yeah. 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 And guys, I've been there uh, in the in the development state. Actually, when it was just open, just open, I took my family yeah. there and it was lovely. Ma Mara and I go way back, as I said to you. Yes. Uh, full disclaimer. Uh, she actually met. She we actually she met me on my website. And for right. those of you again, twelve I, I, years. I, I, I keep. No, no, actually, the website, 2007. So that's about 13, 14 years. Oh, right? that, that's the year I moved here, right? Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, wow. 2007, yeah. guys. My-island-jamaica.com. In my intro, you'll hear me say, well, let's hear from my-island-jamaica.com. Yes, because the website is actually the hub of my business. Um, My baby, you know, I started it, you know, start doing it on the side, and then I, start, I went into it full-time a couple of years ago. So it's a real blessing. And I met Mara. She, yeah. I don't know how she subscribed to my. She came to my website and came and subscribed, and then mm -hmm. we asked, you know, we shared asked questions and so on, and then, and then the relationship developed. You know, you know, she she has some good connections too. She got me in a couple day passes at hotels and so on. So I let them. Know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went to Sandals in White House. I remember. Yeah, we've been, yeah, we've been yeah. a couple places. We went to New right. and stuff. So, she, nice. so she's a genuine friend of mine, and I thought I, when I'm when I was thinking of somebody to. To answer that question, how to live in Jamaica, mm -hmm. uh, particularly as somebody coming in from the outside to live for six months, I said the perfect person would have to be Mara, and, and I'm and I'm really happy that you're getting value from it. Uh, Thank J. You. Cole, J. Cole is saying that yes, says she, she uh, first time viewer, very informative conversation. It's Thank good you. hearing such positive things about Jamaica. Yeah, man. I'm looking to invest in Airbnb. Is it sustainable? Yes. Well. Yeah, you want to answer that? I mean, I mean, you're, 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 yes. You're, you're, yeah. yes, 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 yes. I've seen property values triple around here. White House is really growing a lot. Mm -hmm. I um, was involved with the Beach Club. I found them the land and the houses started at 400. Now they're over 600 in just a short couple of years. Mm -hmm. Airbnb, if you have the right staff when you're not there and the right location, the guests want a pool they want a view they want a beach if you can do that and it's definitely um now you, it's expanded out to booking.com expedia hotels.com or even you can be out there so much and just give it out to everybody and you pay some pay, pay commission is lower some are three some are five some are ten but what i do with ivy's cove we put it out to a lot of different sites i have my daughters help me manage but it's it's a very um, good way to support the property. It will pay your bills and eventually pay off your investment. Definitely recommend it. Yeah, and I should I should let my I should let you know, guys, that Mara also so Mara has a it's a villa you call it or Airbnb, right? What do you call yeah, it? Yeah, so. yeah, it's kind of I guess I'm kind of a guest house villa beach beach villa beach condos. Okay. I rent beach. just two of them. Yeah, I'm okay. very small, but. Yeah. 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 And you so, live on there. So you live on And the I live there. below. Yeah. So the yeah. guests like that. So oftentimes they're like they ran out of oil or they ran out of champagne. Sometimes I can help them. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gets happy. 
<laughs> so, oh, but okay. it's it's okay. good. It's really yeah. been a fun a fun business, and it it just kind of happened. I didn't really plan on it, but yeah. it it worked out. All right. So two things, guys. I want you to like the video here. <laughs> Go ahead and like it. Kathy already. Kathy remind me to, to to tell my viewers to like the video, like it, and share it with somebody. This is this is priceless information you're getting right now. So. Go ahead and like it, man. It's good for, for the algorithm, I, I'm told, as well. So like it right now. Right now. Pump, <laughs> and then um, share as well. Now, I was saying Mara, she has a condo, villa, beach villa, thing, thing. But, but, but you also do your real estate agent. Uh, uh, you yes. Do real estate. Yes. I am so a licensed people realtor. people are interested in acquiring property here or... Yeah. Yes, good. Yes. So just share a little bit of that. If, if, so you never know. Somebody here may, may be interested a little later on. Sure. Um, the, uh, by the way, the information, Mara's information and her direct contact uh, is and will be and is in the description below, guys. So make sure if uh, you can obviously come through me because I have a direct contact with her. But the information also will be in the description below. But let me, let me have her talk a little bit about that side of her here, just in case... You are somebody who is watching the replay with interest. So go ahead, Mara. Sorry. Thank you, Wesley. Yes, I've been licensed since 1999 in Massachusetts. And then I got licensed in Jamaica in 2010. And I work for a firm in Kingston called DC Tavares and Finson. They've been around for about 100 years. We are realtors, appraisers, auctioneers, and insurance agency. Um, and it's a great company. I have been very lucky. I just uh, sold a big hotel and I've been selling condos, land, land development. So it's kind of really grown. I uh, eventually want to become an auctioneer. That's my thing that I'm going to be doing next uh, and starting an auction company in Jamaica. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> and um, it's a it's a really good rewarding business. It's so great to see people, you know, come home that want to buy or people that fall in love with Jamaica and I sell them a condo or somebody that builds um, a house. I refer them to really good builders. So I've been here long enough. I know the right people to refer you to. And, you know, in real estate, I always say it's making everybody feel good at the table. You know, you have the yeah. seller is way up here and the buyer is here. It's just getting everybody on the same page. Yeah. But I've had a lot of a lot of success. Jamaica's been very good to me. And um, I can't, I mean, Jamaica, I've invested a lot in this country. I have several properties and I, I've always made money. So yeah. it's a definitely a good time to invest and yeah. you can't lose, especially with the rental market. And after COVID, I think it's going to be so busy on this island. We, you know, we're going to need more accommodation. So I feel, well, I feel that this country is on the upward swing. They're also building new highways. We're supposedly from White House. We'll make it to Kingston in an hour and a half, which I think will be fabulous. So uh -huh. I'm happy to hear that the government is improving on the infrastructure and things are going to be are, are on a positive, positive right. upswing. Wonderful, wonderful. Let yeah. me let me just add as well that Mara is living on the south coast of Jamaica, so not 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 we consider Ocherius, uh, the Ocherius Montego Bay to be kind of like the north coast, Negril yeah. the west, and west, Mara, is in, yeah. Mara is living in, in in my my home parish called Westmoreland, uh, which mm -hmm. is on the south coast. Uh, mm -hmm. Which, if you're familiar with with you heard you probably uh, Pelican Bar. Uh, yeah. Treasure Beach area is relatively close to where she's living, but it's, it's White House. It's a prime, wonderful area down there on the beach mm -hmm. side. That's where she's living now. So about a, it's about an hour from Negril, about an hour. An from hour Negril. from Negril, hour from Montego Bay. Yeah, and probably another hour from Mandeville. Yeah, Mandeville, and we're only like okay. twenty minutes to Pelican Bar and Black River. Yeah. Twenty minutes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Any any questions, guys? Let me let me let me just let me see. I see. Um, that was J Cole's question. Let me just look here. I think a couple more questions might be here. Uh, what about accommodation? A Howard is asking. Um, I oh, banking accommodation. I think we did we. What about banking accommodation? Banking. You know what? Banking yeah. accommodation. I don't. I'm not sure what. Yes. Means. 
Um, he probably means opening a bank account. It can be challenging, but you can do it. I use NCB. Some people use Scotia. You usually have to have references and give a deposit and give IDs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Well, well, well. Lots of juicy, great information. Um, yes. You know, I'm going to ask Mara the, my, 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 my favorite question. I, she she kind of alluded to it as, as we... As we, as we as, it, as the conversation unfolded, guys, but I'm going to ask her anyway. It is Mara. What, in your mind, makes Jamaica special? What makes Jamaica special? I'd have to say the people, um, the vibes, uh, the climate. I mean, this. I have coconuts in my yard, and to just pick a coconut off your tree and cut it and have coconut water. I mean, I don't do that in America. I don't do that anywhere else and have a mango. I just think Jamaica is a really great place to live. Yeah. Um, I haven't had any problems um, with healthcare. I know they say people are scared about that. We have a local doctor that's very good here. Mm. Uh, Jamaica is very special, but I'd have to say the people. The, the people, people first. Yes. The people first. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much, my friend. So, guys, it's how to live in Jamaica for six months. That's that, that's the question we addressed today. I think we sufficiently dealt with that. You think, Mara? Yes. And don't I be afraid. It. You can do it. And if you can't do six months, do a month. And yeah. then get your feet wet and feel it out. And then yeah. even you can work here because the internet is much better. And yeah. a lot of people are able to work from home. So you can work from Jamaica. Yeah. Well, yeah. wonderful, wonderful. It has been a pleasure, Mara. Thank you awesome. so much. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so, much. so much. Thank you for your time. Uh, yeah, for those, for those who will be watching the replay, all the links uh, to Mara, um, Mara, to get in touch with Mara, whether it's on the, her, 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 her villa, um, you call it a beach condo. Ivy's uh, cold. Yeah. Yeah, or if you need any help, you know, getting, migrating here and you need some real estate and stuff like that, her information is, in uh below this guy is actually the third the fourth the fourth edition of of what i call the spotlight it's a weekly mm -hmm. wednesday program that i do uh highlighting in interesting jamaicans or jamaican enthusiasts sharing something ex something quite helpful insightful uh with you and mara joined us today to deal with how to live in jamaica for six months very appreciate appreciative thank you much thank you much. Thank, thank you for all your comments my friends it has been a pleasure oh, thank you i look forward thank to you. seeing you next week yeah, man. Next yeah man i'm gonna give a quick peek, the, peek um, of the beach guys, all of you and again thank you this is indeed oh the beach oh yes please thank you the beach. oh that is that's behind you Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> had to throw All had right. to throw in the beach. Well, All right. Thank wonderful. you. Okay. I know, I know. You're not helping the situation. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. <laughs> thank you, Mara. I love your vibe. Thank you. Love your vibe. Thank you so Have much, a great guys. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you.